everyone, my name is Spoo, and welcome back to another top 10 video. Now, let's talk about season 3 of Bluey, which is truly something special. This season stands out with its fun storytelling and delightful moments that resonate with both kids and adults alike. Each episode is a beautifully crafted gem that not only entertains, but also imparts valuable life lessons. From imaginative play to heartfelt family interactions, season 3 shines brightly, showcasing the creativity and charm that your ruinous talent the have poured into each gesso. The animation is as colorful and engaging as ever, and the characters continue to grow and evolve in ways that keep us all invested in their lives. It's no wonder that Bluey has become a beloved series for families around the world. So in this video, it'll be counting down the 10 best episodes from season 3 of our favorite Blue Healer puppy. Each episode brings its own unique flavor, filled with laughter, warmth, and sometimes even a few tears. Just a quick note, these selections reflect Derek's personal views, and your favorites may differ. That's the beauty of a show like Bluey. There's so much to love that everyone can have their own top picks. So let's embrace the diversity of opinions and jump right into the countdown of the top 10 Bluey episodes from this fantastic season. I can't wait to hear what you all think, so be sure to share your favorites in the comments below as we celebrate the magic of Bluey together. Let's start this shit. Who doesn't look past the parcel? I know I do, or as we call it here in Canada, past the present. It's that classic British party game where you pass a wrap parcel around. Every kid gets a kick out of it. The rules are super simple. While the music plays, the parcel gets passed around. When the music stops, whoever's holding the parcel unwraps a layer and gets to keep whatever is underneath. The music starts up again, and the fun continues until all the layers are gone and the main prize is revealed. And guess who decided to join the party? That's right, our favorite Bluey. And that's the title of episode number 10. Everyone's gearing up to play Pass the Parcel, a classic party game that kids just love. Pat is in charge of running the game since Lila's brother messed up the piñata. But there's a little like up in the fun. Bingo seems to be on a losing streak. She's really hoping for a prize inside, but every time she gives it a go, she ends up happy handed no matter what birthday bash they're at. Then come Bluey's birthday party where Chili asks Bingo how she wants to play, and Bluey lets her make the call. That's what sisterly love is all about. Bandit steps back and lets Pat take the lid. Singy just wants the kids to enter themselves. As the game unfolds, the excitement builds. And at the very end, the music hits a final note as Bingo receives the parcel. Her tail starts wagging like crazy when she finally wins a birdie kite. It's such a sweet moment, showing that sometimes the thrill of the game is just as important as winning. Bingo learns that it's okay to lose sometimes, like when Leela snaps a bubble shooter. It's all part of the fun, and she takes it in stride, showing great sportsmanship. In a fun little twist, Lily's full name gets mentioned, which is a nice nod to the family meeting episode. Did you know her full name is Bluey Christine Healer? It's a neat detail that adds depth to her character. Even if this moment might not be the highlight of the episode, it still holds a special place, making it worthy of a spot on the list. In the 43rd episode, we feature a tabletop RPG style episode at number 9, titled Dragon. The Healer family's creative journey is at the heart of this story, showcasing how each member brings their own lair to the adventure. Each character's artistic style reflects their age and talent, making it easy to see how they contribute to the narrative. It's a clever way to highlight their individual roles and the unique perspectives they offer throughout the tale. Bandit's ongoing gripes about his itchy lane off at a humorous touch to the episode. Meanwhile, we get a glimpse into Chili and Bandit's childhood, where their passion for drawing was overshadowed by their desire for perfection. Their contrasting experiences provide Bluey with valuable lessons about embracing her own artistic journey, leading to some significant character growth as she navigates her fears and insecurities. Initially, Bluey struggled with her confidence in drawing, often shying away from opportunities to express herself. However, after learning about her parents' past and the challenges they faced, she finds the motivation to practice and ultimately drives the dragon that concludes their adventure. Bandit, inspired by her determination, picks up his pencil again to create a race car, proving that it's never too late to rediscover your passion. This episode also introduces Chili's mom, adding a gooey layer to the story as it touches on the theme of loss. But the focus remains on Bluey's growth and creativity. It's even more of a beezer to note that this episode premiered on Mother's Day in Australia. How wonderful is that? This episode featuring the dragon truly deserves its spot at number 9 on the list. The animation is absolutely stunning, making it a pure joy to watch. Every frame is a feast for the eyes, and it brings such happiness to see such beautiful artistry come to life. Bluey! 
The storyline of getting my own room has been a recurring theme for quite some time. It's a concept that has been explored in various shows, including The Loud House and Gravity Falls, another Disney show, both of which have tackled similar narratives. This trend seems to be a staple in many things in media, but the show in question takes a unique approach to the topic, in the subsequent episode titled Bedroom, has set the record just right. In what seems to be a delightful mix-up, the second episode of season 3 is listed as the first episode on both Disney Plus and the Bluey website. This charming episode centers around Bluey's desire for her own bedroom, a wish that comes true when she gets a room right across from the one she shares with her sister, Bingo. But in the contrary, as the story unfolds, the sisters realize that their bond is too strong to be separated, especially during bedtime. Ultimately, Bluey finds herself longing for the closeness she had with Bingo, leading to a heartwarming conclusion. Chili, noticing Bluey's change of heart, Chili informs Bandit that he needs to move Bluey's bed back to her original room the next morning. When Bandit inquires about the reason, Reason, Chili explained that it's not just about the room itself, it's the special connection between Bluey and Bingo that brings them comfort and peace at night. Their companionship is what truly makes their nights magical, allowing them to drift off to sleep wrapped in each other's warmth. It's such a touching and plaintive moment that highlights the beautiful relationship between the Healer sisters. Their bond is a testament to the love and support that family provides, making it clear that sometimes it's not about having the perfect space, but rather the people we share it with. This episode captures the essence of sibling love, reminding us all of the joy that comes from being close to those we cherish. And that's when this episode reigns at number 8. Jim Henson, the only way the magic works is by hard work. But hard work can be fun, and Bandit certainly showcased that in a hilariously entertaining manner in the next episode of the top 10 title, Unicorns. Oh boy, David Kermit must have at the time of his life recording his lines for this episode. I mean, can you imagine him playing with a unicorn puppet? It was like watching a squirrel on a sugar rush. Absolutely bonkers. The whole episode was a delightful circus, and let's be honest, it was the kind of money that makes you question your life choices while laughing uncontrollably. Shelly and Louie clearly knew they were in for a wild ride. As they attempted to write a book, Shelly sighed and said, This episode of Louie is unfortunately titled Unicorns. You could practically hear the eye rolls from both of them as Louie struggled to catch some deeds. It's like trying to sleep for a rock concert. Good luck with that. And when Louie taps Unicorns on the shoulder, he goes full on even though, declaring I'll sue her and storming off. Unicorns was a one-man, or pop and comedy show plotting the storybook, spoiling the ending like a kid who just can't keep a secret and making all sorts of ridiculous noises. And let's not forget his darkly hilarious moment when he casually mentioned that his favorite food is children. Talk about a plot twist. Even with Bandit giving Woody and Chili a run for their money, Unicorns was so outrageously funny that he snapped the number 7 spot on Eric and Toke's top 10. Who knew a unicorn puppet could be such a riot? I know Twilight Sparkle would do the same thing. Cricket, the bat and bull king that brings you to Australians every year. And how about Bluey? That lovely show from also Australia that beautifully embodies the spirit of its name with such authenticity, all thanks to the episode of the same name. Because why not? This country stands out as the most accomplished cricket team in the annals of the sport. Cricket is not just a game here, it is woven into the very fabric of Australian culture, with a rich tradition of both playing and passionately following the sport. This episode encapsulates that spirit beautifully, delivering a narrative that resonates deeply and tugs at the heartstring. Rusty, despite his young age, showcases remarkable cricket skills that are truly impressive. His Red Kelby companion is a testament to his dedication to the sport. The episode also features Rusty's siblings, Dusty and Digger, adding depth to the family dynamic. A poignant flashback reveals Rusty's close bond with Jack, who, despite his initial worries about making friends, finds solace in their friendship. This connection is both heartwarming and relatable, illustrating the importance of companionship. As the episode unfolds, another flashback highlights Rusty's experience playing cricket with his older brother and his friends. When faced with a challenging bowler, Rusty hesitates and gets hit, prompting his brother to suggest waiting until he's over to play. However, Rusty's father imparts wisdom through a letter, emphasizing that growing up involves confronting challenges head on. Rusty embraces this advice, demonstrating resilience and determination. His unwavering commitment to cricket, regardless of the obstacles, makes him a stand-up character. 
The episode culminates in a touching moment when Rusty hits the ball his little sister, celebrating her joy and creating a truly heartwarming scene that resonates with years. What's even more score-worthy, pun intended, the conclusion of the episode delivers a heartwarming moment as a young Rusty shares a fist bump with his older self, stepping onto the iconic Brisbane cricket ground to represent Australia. This scene is not just a nostalgic nod, it symbolizes the journey of growth and achievement that Rusty has experienced, making it a truly memorable highlight. Rusty's exceptional talent and dedication to the sport positioned him as a potential asset to the Australian national cricket team. His journey is a testament to hard work and passion, and this episode captures that spirit beautifully. It deserves recognition for its inspiring narrative and the way it showcases Rusty's remarkable skills. This episode stands out and deserves to be celebrated, earning its rightful place at number 6. The excitement and energy surrounding Rusty's character resonate with years, making it a must-watch. Let's give credit where it's due and cheer for Rusty as he rocks his way into the hearts of cricket fans everywhere. Woohoo, go Rusty! I know this might not be a popular take, but I really enjoy rainy days. While many people prefer sunny weather and can't wait for the clouds to clear, I think there's something special about the rain. It nourishes the earth, helping plants and nature thrive, which is pretty important if you ask me. Plus, there's a certainty that comes with playing outside in the rain. All you need are some good boots and a rain jacket, and you're set for some fun. It's a great excuse to splash in puddles and embrace the elements instead of hiding from them. And if you're not feeling adventurous, you can always cozy up and watch a show like Bluey. And the reason is that there's an episode in season 3 that perfectly captures the vibe of the rainy day. This episode unfolds in a serene atmosphere, accompanied by gentle melodies and sparse dialogue, with only a few words spoken right after the title card. Bluey delights in the rain, embodying the spirit of childhood as she devises an imaginative plan to construct a dam in the front yard. Despite her best efforts, the water continues to flow through her toys, presenting a challenge she is determined to overcome. In a moment of inspiration, Bluey dashes off to fetch a towel for her project. Leaving Chill in a state of shock, Chilly finds herself caught in an endless cycle of cleaning, mopping up the puddles that Bluey brings inside. After a while, she reaches her breaking point and takes a moment to relax in her chair on the deck. However, her maternal instincts kick in, and she soon joins Bluey in her damn building endeavor. As they collaborate, and now the downpour is finished, a stunning double rainbow appears in the sky, filling the moment with wonder, though it's sure light as the rain begins to fall once more, leading to a familiar chaos. This episode certainly holds its ground, proudly claiming the fifth spot on the list of favorites for Eric Tope. a new and extraordinary adventure with a mission to Mars in this episode called Base. In a delightful playroom setting, Rusty, Jack, and Matt Candy embark on an imaginative space adventure aboard their trusty boat. The laughter and excitement fill the air as they navigate through their make-believe universe. However, beneath the surface of this joyful escapade lies a deeper story, as Matt Candy grapples with the shadows of his past, haunted by the feelings of abandonment that have left him with post-traumatic stress disorder, or PTSD. This emotional weight makes it challenging for him to fully engage in the fun, creating a poignant contrast to the carefree atmosphere around him. As the episode unfolds, we witness poor little Matt Candy retreating into himself, struggling to come to terms with his feelings. And then later on, a flashback reveals a tender moment from his childhood, where young Matt Candy encounters Colobo as a mere vision who gently reassures him that his mother didn't leave him behind. She simply got caught up in the slide. And wouldn't you know it, in a heartwarming twist, we see his mother waving to him from the other side, calling out his name, which brings a jewel wet to his little tail. This uplifting scene serves as a reminder of the unconditional love that mothers provide, even in moments of confusion and fear. Just when the emotional tide seems to rise, the mood shifts as Bluey, Indy, and Chloe dress as playful aliens attempt to pull Mackenzie away from the black hole of his worries. Their antics bring laughter and lightness back to the scene, allowing the trio to return to their space paint with renewed energy. Mackenzie's mother, though only appearing really, adds a significant touch to the narrative, reminding us of the importance of family support. This episode beautifully balances heartfelt moments with humor, earning its rightful place in the countdown. The 
beach, Chili is eager to unwind, but she struggles to find her relaxation. Initially, while enjoying the seaside, a fly buzzes around her, which is quite far as the most common of and we can all relate to. She attempts to read the first chapter of her book, but quickly decides she wants to fully savor the beach experience first. After a brief moment of contemplation, she shifts her focus back to her book. As the day progresses, Chili finds it challenging to relax. Fortunately, her husband Bandit steps in as her hero, encouraging her to seek advice from the masters of relaxation. Venturing out onto the balcony, she begins to unwind, captivated by the stunning view. It's truly breathtaking, and even Chloe and Binko make a moment to appreciate the clear blue sea. The underlying message is that one of the challenges of parenthood is adjusting to moments of leisure. A lesson Chili learns as she and Bandit realize she has forgotten how to relax. Additionally, it's embraceable to see Bluey and Bingo excited about the hotel room's foam beds and the beautiful music floor. And look, Chili's hat is a familiar sight, as it's the same one she wore in the beach in the episodes. Moreover, it's delightful to watch Bluey and Bingo pretend to be mermaid waiters, creatively using the complimentary hotel mini soaps as pies, followed by a fun bubble bath in the jet tub. In summary, Chili truly deserves this while we're in spot on the list for her need to relax. Viewer that keeps us coming back for more. Number two. Oh man, this and number one are really sad. And this episode is one of those ones. One is. Why, well, this episode unfolds with Chili's heart-wrenching confession about Brandy's struggle with infertility, a truth that weighs heavily on her heart. The sight of a family unit, so full of life and joy, becomes a painful reminder of what he cannot have. Brandy's pregnancy only deepens the sorrow, revealing that the barriers to motherhood for Chili are rooted in deeper, more complex issues. The emotional turmoil is palpable as the dreams of a family slip further away, leaving behind a haunting emptiness. Yet, amidst this sorrow, there is a buoy charm in the sisters donning their new animal one is the fleeting moment of innocence and joy. Bingo laws and her character brings a glimmer of light to an otherwise heavy episode. While this particular story is one of the most emotional the show has ever tackled, it still finds a way to balance the weight of its themes with moments of levity. However, the underlying sadness lingers, heading at the inevitable episode that lies ahead. A reminder that joy and sorrow often walk hand in hand. And I bet you already know what's coming, do ya? Well, before that, let's give a quick honorable mention to one episode. It was no surprise to anyone that this episode claimed the top spot. After all, it was the season 3 finale that irrevocably altered everything. On April 14, the world bore witness to a heart-wrenching narrative that left many in tears growling with the weight of what had just transpired. The emotional gravity of the episode was palpable as viewers were left to ponder whether the beloved healers were bidding farewell for good, a thought that lingered painfully in the air. Shaleen, leave despite her effort to be supportive, found herself overwhelmed by the impending mood. Her tears spilling forth as she struggled to articulate her fears. The heartache was commanded by Bingo's innocent misunderstanding of the situation her navity about the move masked a deeper sorrow that would inevitably surface. The realization that selling their home and leaving behind cherished memories and friends, particularly Lilo, would shatter her guilt heart. The moment she grasped the truth, the weight of it all would crush her spirit, leaving a small tear glistening in her eye as she feel like attempted to pull the for sale sign from the ground. Even Banda recognized the gravity of the mistake as Island acknowledgement of the pain it would bring. Yet, amidst the sorrow, there were fleeting moments of joy, like the wedding of Chili's friend Frissy and Bandit's brother Rat, and the news of Brandy's baby, which offered a very reminder of life's continuance. The wedding scene, filled with laughter and tears, showcased the beauty of family coming together, with Chris and Bob's proud tears reflecting the love that binds them. The dance party, a brief escape from the heartache, allowed for a moment of levity, yet the underlying sadness remained, a reminder of the fragility of happiness in the face of inevitable change. But perhaps, the heart of this 20 minute episode lies in its unforgettable ending, with Lee's a lasting impression on Gears, Bandit's bold gesture of tearing the sticker off the sign, followed by his emphatic dismissal of it, marks a significant turning point. He rips the for sale sign with determination, a stark contrast to Bluey and Bingo's earlier, unsuccessful attempts to remove it. 
through all the episodes, Bandit wrestles with the weight of his choices, realizing that the jobby person has brought more sorrow than joy to his family. In this moment of defiance, he reaffirms his dedication to keeping his loved ones together in the home they cherish. The joy that erupts in Pluey and Bingo is infectious as they bounce around the house, their excitement palpable. Their celebration culminates in their room, where they dance and embrace, reveling in the wonderful news that they can remain in their beloved space. The scene shifts to the for healers sharing a simple yet meaningful take up dinner, gathered around a makeshift table crafted from a cardboard box and the familiar care of Matt. If they are your scenes didn't debate your heartstrings, the sight of this family laughing and mobbing over their modest meal is sure to warm your heart as they discover a new amount of creation for their home. Adding to the emotional dap is the song they play Lazarus Strap by Megan Washington, the voice of Kalu, which plays Solly in the background. This song resonates profoundly, evoking a spectrum of emotion that touches the heartstrings and soul of many. Its message beautifully encapsulates the essence of joy mirroring the healer family's journey. So the next time you hear that enchanting tune, take a moment to remember Glee and the beautiful reminder of love and togetherness it brings. And with that, we wrap up Eric Toke's top 10 favorite episodes from Bluey Season 3. Thank you for joining me on this delightful journey. Until next time, take care and goodbye.